what I mean for change in Burma is in the city, you, we have uh, you know, freedom of press. We, we got a lit, little bit, not, not really exactly the, the freedom. A lot of change are in, in only in the city, like uh, in the capital city in Burma. This is my picture. That one is in 2011, time the fighting just start between the ethnic armed groups and the government troops. Those are still going on in the country. We don't feel like there is change going on. Now we have parliament. But the thing is, 80% in the parliament are the same people. They are still in power. Uh, they just change the uniform. It is very difficult to believe that uh, people, same people will have a different idea suddenly. Suchi as my icon. Why respect leader? There's some hope she might be able to bring. Of course, she will win. But the thing is, she become opposition group. She can do anything. Majority decide. If there is a free and fair in the next election, we, we can see there is a change for Burma. If I have a chance to ask a question, how we can end ethnic conflict in Burma? So far, she haven't uh, you know, touched about the uh, ethnic issue. Of course, she is you know, fighting for um, democracy. But ethnic people are fighting for federal democracy, like uh, in the US. Majority of Brahmis uh, feel that we are unlucky to be neighbor with China. Chinese government, uh, they only care about the trades. They're not interfering in the politics. They're not you know, giving the pressure to the government to reform or to do anything. Why Brahmi's dictator regime can survive that long is it because of China that who support uh, weapon, arms, and furnish assistance to the military regime. Not only the Chinese government, also Indian as well. And you know we are in the sandwich of uh, China and India. So and also Thailand as well. Politics are a game, you know. We are fighting as a justice, as a, the game, uh, the rule of the game, you know, should be fair. Voting is uh, a chance for us to show that we want democracy in Hong Kong. They are organizing some protests and do uh, for a story for it. Just right here, they are queuing from the canteen to the library. It's a very long queue, so <laughs> so I really upset about this. When I see Hong Kong people queuing for the subway, I can really send or feel the same feeling they have. It remind me of. Uh, back in my home, uh, who are living in under the military dictatorship. Uh, Aung San Suu Kyi said, uh, please use your liberty to promote our rights. So I said, uh, I just started teaching uh, to promote human rights for everyone. Hong Kong people should have this too. Burmese people should have this too. And Chinese people should also have this right. Everybody should have this right.